What is up, beautiful people? It's your good sis, Gigi Jolie, Sean Jolie, or the Empress, whichever one you prefer. Today, I'm going to be introducing this company, The Show Hair, that sent me this gorgeous, very natural wig. Before we get started, I'm just going to show you the card that was sent with the wig. Here at the top, you have the hair care tips, you know, the typical stuff that you need to know when dealing with any virgin hair extensions. And here at the bottom, this is how to become a V-Show star, how to get in contact with them, as well as the perks that they have along with ordering from them. Right here, I'm just pretty much showing you how the wig looked before I did anything to it. I did not show how I customized this because honestly, this hairline is kind of sort of pre-plugged. I just went in and did just a little bit more, but there are a million videos on YouTube about that. And I just really like to get to the fun stuff like styling, and, you know, looking cute. So I'm just showing you the construction of the wig and then I'll get into the fun part. Okay, so this is the inside construction of the cap. This is a 13 by four lace frontal wig. You have a little bit of lace at the back, but it wouldn't necessarily be good for high ponytails, I'll say, cause it'll be kind of difficult to cover that up at the back. It comes with four combs on the inside, as well as two adjustable straps. Also be aware that this does have tracks in the back because it is a lace frontal wig. I will be showing you what that looks like once it's flipped back to the outside of the wig here is what the wig looks like once it's been flipped back please do not worry my mannequin head obviously is very lightly colored so unless you're wearing a very light wig cap that's the only way that you're going to see but the hair is very full so you're not going to have to worry about any spots or anything and people being able to see your wig cap so without further ado let me show y'all how cute this wig is on my head as well as styling Check this parting, sis. Yes, look at it. Cute edges. That's not a little pasty, but edges together. <laughs> Okay, so all I have in this water bottle is water and I think a little bit of conditioner if I'm not mistaken. This hair was very easy to detangle. The only tangles that I had and experienced was from me, of course, as I always state. I don't tie my hair up. I just wrap up my edges and that's pretty much it. The hair really didn't have too much shedding either because when I brushed through this, I forgot to take out the hair that was already in it so I couldn't really determine how much it was but it still wasn't a lot so I wasn't tripping on that so if you're worrying about shedding or anything with this hair you don't really too much have to focus on that plus with the length of this hair you don't have to worry about it you know just getting matted and stuff like that because even with me not tying it up at night it did not become matted at the back I was still able to get my fingers through it and the curls, as you can see, they are very much popping. So I do recommend you using a dimming brush when you do comb through this hair because it will definitely have this hair looking bomb, as you can see. I also wanted to mention that I did not tint the lace on this unit because I know a lot of the times I don't like to go through those extra steps so I know that y'all don't. All I did was put a little bit of foundation around the hairline because that's why I needed it to look the very like the most natural. At the back I just have on my stocking cap underneath there because when I applied this wig I did do the stocking cap method. So that part I was not going to add any extra. I didn't want to have to do all that work. I wanted to get straight to the point and it looks very good. Now peep this moisturization. Look at this hair. 
first of all, this is my hair. This all me right here. This all me. My man's love when my hair is curly, okay? I'm just playing. I ain't even got no man, y'all. But he coming. <laughs> no, but seriously, check out this wig, y'all. This looks too good. I love this curl pattern. But anyways, let me go ahead. I'm fixing to do like a little ponytail because when it comes to hair like this, I don't think it's versatile, but I think it doesn't call for too much. Like most of the time with like straight hair or something, you want to do like some curls in it, some big, you know, voluminous curls. But with curly hair that looks, it's supposed to look more natural. So I didn't go too overboard with the style. I'm just doing a ponytail and the top with my little edges or whatever. And then I'm gonna do my face up, but I'm gonna stop talking let y'all see what I'm doing and I'm gonna show y'all the finished look okay mm -hmm. 